Well, you know what? Because I was up until 5 in the morning last night playing Magic the Gathering with my friends when we had Chinese food, I'll bring up the story of, oh, of, yeah. my, <laughs> of my Chinese food experience. My best Chinese food experience ever at my con. I think it's important for me to stipulate that Peter does not drink. I am a high-functioning alcoholic, but Peter does not drink. Right. I, however, have what you could probably call wickedly poor impulse control. Yeah, that's fair. So, this was freshman year. And it was me and my buddies. And we were playing we were playing magic then. Or we were watching Pokemon. I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Adult things. Or do. or fam <laughs> Family Feud. That was also our jam. Oh yeah, the food feud. Play the feud. That was great. Freshman year watching Family Feud till two in the morning. That's like all there there is to watch out here. <coughs> Honestly. We last last year for me, we watched a uh, disturbingly high amount of Game Show Network. Yeah. Although, my buddy Hunter somehow finds a way to find just reality TV that he always watches. Like, he started watching Tanked, the reality TV show about building aquarium tanks. I'm like, what? Hunter, what do you do? Now, Hunter is that target audience, though. He is. Okay, back to the story. So, we're watching... We're watching whoever we're watching Steve Harvey work as Georgia Magic on these Family Feud contestants, and my friend Anthony, who we will talk about later. Oh, he I'm is, sure there's, there's, we each have our fair share of Anthony's stories. He's great. Um, anyway, so he was, he had his sweet and sour chicken, which he he finished, but he didn't finish the sauce. Now, sweet and sour sauce smells really nice and it tastes really nice when you eat it with the chicken with chicken that's a very important part of the story but those were the only points of information i had when i looked at the sauce there's about half of it left in the container asked everyone else do i have to finish this they respond they replied Non-committally, like they're just like, no, you don't. Have, we're gonna, Why we're gonna throw it out. It was kind of like oh, whatever. Meanwhile, in my head, I'm just like, no, you have to finish all your sauce. Waste not, want not, motherfucker. Yeah, I have been. I I am an expert on sauce dipping efficiency. Chicken nuggets, I got that shit. Breadsticks and marinara, I got that shit. There will neither be any sauce nor sticks left when I'm done. So in doing that, Anthony, in my eyes, had committed a cardinal sin and left sauce in the container. It was my job to finish it. So I said, am I finishing that? And they said, uh, uh, uh. like, okay, I'm going to finish this. I grab the small thin tin of, uh, or plastic, whatever it is, of sweet and sour sauce. Canister. Yep. A little soup. Tureen, I don't think, I don't know. And, and then you just, you just tip it into your mouth. And it was disgusting. Yeah, there's a reason people don't try to drink sweet and sour sauce. As you learned on that night. Although yeah, I feel um, a fair amount of common sense it's, could have been checked through your head. It was orangey ketchup. Which, just by the sound of that, you should know that that's not a good time. And, and then they all looked at me like, Peter, you're a massive fuck up. Yeah, that was also my, my pretty much the exact words that I said when you told me the story for the first time. Uh, it might have been more profane. Uh, in addition to having a drinking problem, I also have a swearing problem. Very well put together human being. I mean, you do the job you told to do, or the, the do to do, I don't know. What's the correct grammarization of that? Oh, pick the cat. Oh. Why is he there? He has a cameo in every level. That's weird. I don't know all of them, unfortunately. Unfortunately, depending on you, you're using a big cat. 
Uh, oh, I think he's I think he's a neat character. Neat he's side a nice character. nice character, but I uh, I'm not a fan of his uh, Adventure One stages. Yep. Because that was I mean, if I wanted to play Sega Bash fishing, I would play Sega Bass Bass fishing. Dude, they could totally do if they had big as a character in the next <laughs> fishing game. Yeah. I, I was just about to suggest that, you know, just put him as a secret character in Sega Bass Fishing. That'd be baller. Or, or, or what, not, what's a fish that starts with B that isn't bass. a bass? Uh, Beluga. That's a that's whale. That's a whale. Which On the tail, mammals. I'll tell you, lad. Whale tail. That's that's one of the ones like Bong is showing in their, uh, their pants. It's a whale tail. Jeez. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I so when a lungs. guy does it, they're a gangster. When a girl does it, that's panties. Well, also, guys typically don't wear thongs. Also, I don't pronounce T's. They're just panties. Panties. Paninis. Don't make me hungry, dude. I'm gonna lose focus, and it's gonna be a rough ride for all of us. You know what that just made me think of? Groos from Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Oh, don't mention that game, please. No? no? I enjoyed that game heartily. I was not a fan of Skyward Sword. It's super gimmicky motion controls and it's black. It just seemed like very sloppily put together. And they're like, we need a we need another Wii Zelda, because people found out that we actually released Twilight Princess on the GameCube first. <laughs> and which is the better version of that game to anyone looking to play Twilight Princess. Interesting. Uh, it looks better and the world is not flip to accommodate the fact that these people are right-handed. Wait, which one wait, which one do you say is better? The GameCube version. Of oh, Twilight Princess. Okay. Twilight Princess. There was no GameCube version of Skyward Sword. Right, I thought you were saying, like, Twilight Princess was better than Skyward Sword. Oh, it is, in my opinion. I, well, I have Twilight Princess is probably my second favorite 3D Zelda. Hmm. Which would make it my very favorite Zelda. Interesting. Yeah, probably go A Link to the Past, Majora's Mask, and uh, Twilight Princess. I was always partial to, um, uh, not Ocarina, um, or the Oracle of Ages and Seasons. Oh, I did like those games, too. Yep, and I, I mean, I was no, mostly a handheld I'm kid, so, um, you know, that was that, and the, 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 the Minish Cap, that's the one. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of, like, the Wind Waker and Wind Waker spin-offs. Like, Minish Cap, Phantom Hourglass, Steam Tracks. Like, all the cel-shaded Zeldas, I just kind of, like, group in as Wind Waker. Mm. Like, and with, uh, Link to the Past, I group that with, uh, Link's Awakening and the Oracles games. Because they're all pretty much the same game. I'm just glad that they always had different main villains from Ganon. The Oracle. And Minish Cap, and all like, because they had that body. Not to be confused with the Magic Card Body of Doll. And I will not talk to you about Magic Lore because it is a gruesome beast. Yeah, we don't want to lose. I mean, if you want to learn about power armor and, and interdimensional lasers that should be in a, a medieval fantasy game, <laughs> you know, I'm the source. Oh boy. This is gonna get dicey. Oh. Alright, yeah, we're gonna go here. Shit. Okay, well, that was not supposed to happen. He pipe sniped you. Yeah, he did. I got, like, caught between a rock and a hard place there, and dodged all my shit. I'm locked on, yet it's not letting me fire missiles. This is, uh, impossible. I don't appreciate your wishcraft nor your career. Do you get any other power-ups? Uh, no, I think we're. Wait, no, there's a. Besides the Mystic. 
whatever's uh, the mystic melody. Yeah. Uh, there is somewhere, I do not remember where, there is a armor upgrade for Eggman, which makes Cannon's core a lot easier, so I'll probably seek it out before we attempt.